In this video, we will find the value of gamma of half. To do this, let us recall the relation between beta function and gamma function, which is given here. We know that b of m comma n is equal to gamma m times gamma n divided by gamma of m plus n. Now in this relation, let us put m is equal to half and n is also equal to half. By doing so, we have b half comma half is equal to gamma half times gamma half divided by gamma half plus half. Now let us recall the beta function bmn is equal to integration from 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1. 1 minus x to the power is n minus 1 dx which can also be written as 2 times integration from 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power 2m minus 1 theta cos to the power 2n minus 1 theta d theta. Now if we use this rule the left hand side will be equal to 2 times integration from 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power 2m minus 1 but m is half. So 2 times half minus 1 cos to the power 2 times half minus 1 because n is half theta d theta is equal to gamma half whole square divided by gamma of 1. Now if we simplify the left hand side, we have 2 times integration from 0 to pi by 2 d theta is equal to gamma of 1 is equal to 1. So right hand side will be equal to gamma of half whole square as gamma of 1 is equal to 1. Now computing the left hand integral, we have theta where theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 is equal to gamma half whole square. Now see that the left hand side is equal to 2 times pi by 2 minus 0. That is the left hand side will be equal to pi which is again equal to gamma of half whole square. From here we deduce that gamma of half is equal to root pi taking the square root on both sides therefore we finally obtain that the value of gamma half is equal to square root of pi and this is our final answer thank you for watching please like share and comment on the video also do subscribe the channel